Hey everybody, what's up? Um, I had seen this video and I just had I, I had seen this uh this report and I just had to do a video on it. Um, this Xbox addict, this Xbox addict, um, he was uh like 20 years old and he was killed by a blood clot and um his parents are blaming well from what i'm reading um like they're blaming the xbox as his cause of death as stupid as that sounds they blaming the xbox i mean i understand like when someone closest to you die like you just want to blame somebody you know but to sit here and blame a game system for for, for being like responsible for your child's death is nothing short of idiotic and stupid because how in the hell can you blame a game system a piece of machinery for the cause of your ch child's death um they said that he suffered from a blockage in his lungs, uh, like when he, uh, like, uh, uh, uh like developed a, a deep vein, uh, thrombosis, um, and, and it says that it's commonly associated with passengers on long haul flights. Um, uh, as you can see right here, like where they are commonly, uh, I like relatively immobile for hours on end, commonly associated with passengers on long haul flights where they are relatively immobile for hours on end, right? And it's called deep vein zomb, I like deep vein thrombosis. So basically, when you're too lazy to move around, you end up getting this. And he would play Xbox, it says here, for 12 hours at a time, supposedly. Sitting still for 12 hours, for 12 hour sessions on his Xbox. Like, he was passionate about computers, posting this picture on his MySpace account three years ago. You know, Chris father, it says right here, Chris father, Chris heartbroken father, David told the son, as a parent, you think playing computer games can't do them any harm because you know what they're doing I mean it's, it's not the game's fault I mean maybe your kid just didn't get up and move around never thought about that I mean like it's 12 hour sessions I mean assessing sessions that means every day 12 hours every day he's on the Xbox not moving around not doing anything And I hate to say it, but your son was lazy. All he want, well, I wouldn't say lazy. I take that back. I would say that all he wanted to do was sit down and play video games. You know, for 12 hours at a time. If you, I understand that, but even if he was just passionate about it, he had to get up and move around. You know, you can't live on a computer 24/7. You can't live on, you know. On, on the video games like that because it can uh, like damage your eyesight in some universal study I read that you know um, if you sit down and you uh, look at the at the video game for too long or like or you watch TV for too long like it can damage your eyesight I read that somewhere I don't know if it's true or not but yeah like it's other problems that this could possibly cause but your child did not die uh, like because of Xbox. Like the Xbox didn't kill your son. And I'm just saying like maybe he should have just moved around a little bit more than he did. That's all I'm saying.
You know, I hate the fact that this happened to somebody that was passionate about what he was doing. Because down here it said it was a tragic loss. Like before he collapsed outside a job's out of job outside a job center, Chris was offered a place to study game design at Les Sester. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, at a little bit at a little sister university i believe that's how it's pronounced but yeah like he was going to game uh, like he was going to school to study you know uh, like how to create video games you know for game design like he was going to school to study game design and this happened to him i'm sad but let this be a lesson like you just can't sit down at your xbox or your ps3 or whatever game system you have and not expect it to have some type of side effect on you. In worst case scenario, this can happen to you. You know, you just gotta be careful, man. It's sad to see this happen to do, but at the same time, hey, learn from his mistakes. Don't sit down for 12 hours at the end every day playing on an Xbox 360 because, you know, uh, like too much of anything is bad for you, right? And this ain't nothing short of that. So rest in peace, Chris Stanforth. You know, I hate that happened to you, man, but... Uh, you know, what's crazy. And what's even more silly is when you... It's like this. The condition that this dude had, you can't get that from you know from sitting down playing video games for too long from isn't caused by video games and, it, and it's even more laughable when you think about it because the condition that he had it came from you know just sit down for too long and it says right here that Chris dad Chris's dad, you know, the guy that that had the blood clot and passed away, he said his, well, it says right here that Chris's dad, David, says he does hold Microsoft, the manufacturer of, of Xbox, responsible for Chris's death. Chris is his son, so. But what's so funny about this, the condition that caused his son's death is from basically sitting down for too long not being, you know, uh, uh, like, like my, by not moving around. And what's so funny about this is that the picture that they show is the Xbox with the Xbox uh, Connect, which is a device that causes you to, you know, to move around and jump around some. So, yeah, your son was he wasn't getting the proper exercise and if he was using an xbox connect i'm pretty sure he didn't bother with it too much because otherwise he probably wouldn't have got had gotten this uh this blood clot which can only be obtained by not properly exercising which he didn't do i mean sitting down for 12 hours at a time uh playing xbox i mean seriously like I said, I hate that he died, but you can't blame Xbox for your son sitting down for 12 hours a day doing this. Like, the number one golden rule, and every gamer knows this, you gotta take a break from playing a game every now and then. You got to, because it will, yeah, like, it has, it will end up having some side effects on you. Worst case scenario, boom. Same thing that happened to this guy. Hate that it happened to him, but hey, learn from his mistakes. Learn from him. You know, it says right here, right at the coroner had confirmed that the DVT has caused a death despite the uh, the 20 year old having no history of, he of ill health or of underlying medical conditions. It says right here that DVT is a blood clot that develops in one of the deep veins in the body, usually occurring in the leg 
or a toso, it causes pain and swelling, which can lead to serious complications of the blood. Complications of the blood clot breaks off into the bloodstream. You know, this can happen. If this happens, it can cause fatal blockage in the lungs known as a pulmonary embolism. And I'm sure we all have heard that term before. DVT is a usually a result of of long periods of inactivity such as sitting on a long haul flight although our increasingly sedentary lifestyles has led to rise has led to a rise in cases you know so his father who was 54 years old of Sheffield explained how Chris would sit engrossed for hours in games you know, where players battle against alien invasions. So apparently battling aliens on an Xbox is more important than your health. You know, but you sit here and you blame a company who has no control over your son as a reason why your son is dead. Who knows? Like, maybe you should encourage your child to get out and play some. I mean... You know, I'm just saying, maybe you're just trying to use Xbox as a scapegoat for what you should have been doing, and that's being a father and encouraging your child to get off his ass and move around more. You know, it's more to life than playing video games. I don't want to hear all that, that, you know... You know, you just didn't take care of your chick, take care of your kid, or, or you didn't encourage him to get off the damn stick every once in a while. You can't blame nobody but yourself. And since he was 20, he can't blame nobody but himself. I hate that it happened to him, but at the same time, you can't blame Microsoft for this. This is stupid. You know, you can't blame Microsoft for for your son sitting down 12 hours at a time and develop a health condition because of it. But like I said before, let this be a lesson. Don't, you know, sit on your behind for 12 hour sessions playing Xbox or doing whatever and you don't move around because you can't develop health conditions. Health conditions. And, um, you know, for, for, from a variety of things, you could gain weight, you can get lazy, not exercise, and that right there is, is going to cause problems in itself. Uh, so I can't explain, well, I can't stress that enough. So let this be a lesson to all you gamers out there, you know, move around. Put the joystick down. It really don't take much to hit that pause button if you're that worried about losing your spot in the current game that you are playing. You know, save your pro, like just save your progress and, you know, head to the gym. Like make it a habit. Or just move around some, do something else. It ain't hard. So, so whatever, you know. Uh, yeah learn from this because this ain't got to happen to you move around